Hello, hello. I couldn't help but have the opportunity to do an assessment of a Taco Bell while we were on our way over to Baltimore to do business cat stuff. So this one is Taco Bell Thursday, 0525-2023. Um, if you didn't know, this is <laughs> Miss Michelle Fixit, and I am in the process of trying to get my videos organized into a really good format because now I have a little handle and I'm trying to figure out all the social media stuff and all the rest of it. Um, to date, haven't made a dime off my videos, um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying them because they were meant to just be fun. Um, I wasn't trying to make money off of them, but if other people are making money off of me, then, you know, part of the process trying to figure all that stuff out because I have a lot of things that I could fund that would help a lot of really good people in a lot of really bad spots. So, uh, we went to Taco Bell as a pit stop. Um, we were having a, we call this our little crazy cat picnics in the vehicles. Um, so as soon as I get done with this video, we're going to put a movie on for a little bit and eat really quick and then go on to our next adventure because sometimes working moms have to do these kind of things especially when you wear lots of hats and I'm super distracted by a brother and sister playing and uh, maybe a mom maybe an older sibling um, kind of getting frustrated but it's really cute out here um, seems very peaceful oh, there's another little one over there too but anyways so back to the card Taco Bell Thursday 05 2023 um, we're out doing crazy cat adventures um, the female voice on the intercom was very polite. The window person was not polite. He was very distracted. Um, he seemed, he did eventually say, have a good day after slamming the window and seeing that he was kind of annoyed that he had customers, uh, did warn us to be careful of the taco box that would have popped open. Uh, positive Isabel was able to go inside because she didn't get the waters that she wanted with her order. Um, and then... Behind the scenes, because my nails are still messed up, uh, it was store number 5184. Uh, backwards numbers on the window sign for customers to be able to try to figure out your hours of operation. Charlie evidently wants another taco. Um, they had really yummy tacos, uh, yummy drink. We had a fun crazy cat adventure. Uh, more training and prep may be needed in, for the front of house, uh, the window staff. But back of house, the line cooks are on par with the brand. So yeah, I'm not nitpicky or anything like that. It's just um, I was part of the opening staff of uh, one of the largest commercial franchise restaurants um, in the state of North Carolina. And if you know, you know. Um, and and so like for me, when I go to a restaurant or something, I'm silently critiquing. Not because I'm like, you know, the Karen thing, but just because, you know, people need to know what's going on with their business because like, this is somebody's baby. Like if this is a franchise, then like, this is a mom and pop establishment that like had to make money and had to do all these different things to be able to get to where they're at. And so they might not know that like their systems need to be checked. Um, if it's a corporate thing, because I've worked for a corporate location too, for the same brand that I was talking about with the largest one in the state of North Carolina, um, that was a corporate location. And so we had like huge amounts of quality control and everything like that. And it was a big deal. So, you know, I'm not trying to be nitpicky. Um, the tacos were yummy. The people inside the store were clearly nice to Isabel when she went in because, you know, I had to, I was either going to take up time in the drive through and annoy them and mess up their times, which, you know, I get because I did work for another fast food restaurant and like they dressed me up as their character, even though their character like looked like me and they even draw, drew like little circles on me and I hand out balloons and colors and all this other stuff, which I've never seen anybody else do, but for, they did it for me and I had to wear a yarn wig and it was like embarrassing, but it was super fun. And I did the window thing. So it's not like I'm criticizing stuff that I haven't done. Like I've literally worked fast food before and I've worked in restaurants and scantily clad um, stuff and that's just what I did. So Isabel, um, did you think the people that were inside the store were nice to you whenever you did your stuff? And like Isabel is happily eating her tacos. So were they nice when you went in to get your waters? Okay, so they're very helpful. So yeah, we just we just need some um we need some we need some training. We need some you know brand. I was in the line. They still said, <clears throat> "Ma'am, um, ma'am, what do you need?" And I said. Well, my mommy went through the drive-thru and she didn't get her two waters. And see, that's fantastic because a little girl goes in there and like mommy's in the parking lot where mommy is able to watch over baby Hulk and also watch over fiery unicorn because again, she's old enough to be by herself in most states. So like she gets to do big girl stuff 
um, under mommy's watchful eye. And I think we had a great time, but yeah, um, store number five, one, eight, four, because we're still in your parking lot, you know, just check on your staff. They might need a little help. That's it. All right. Love you. Bye.